Today we spoke about energy drinks, what every pediatrician needs to know, because we are aware that energy drinks are being marketed to youth, and our patients and parent population are unaware, as well as our pediatricians, about what is going on in this market. Unfortunately, our youth do attend parties where there may be alcohol, and that alcohol may be mixed with energy drinks, exacerbating problems typically found with alcohol, such as drunk driving. They're inebriated, but they don't understand that they're inebriated. It's called a wide awake drunk. We're seeing them more and more in our emergency rooms. We're seeing them in our offices. And unfortunately, there are a lot of consequences from that. So we do need open lines of communication with your daughters and sons about not only limiting caffeine, but trying not to mix or be subject to those who have mixed energy drinks with alcohol. So the number one morbidity or problem that comes from a cardiovascular standpoint is an arrhythmia or an irregular heartbeat, and that can cause people to have sudden death, myocardial infarctions or MIs, as well as just palpitations or terrible heart rate um, pacing and high blood pressure. Those are the most common effects. Unfortunately, there are other side effects such as obesity. There are a lot of sugars in these drinks, even in the low energy drinks and that can contribute to weight gain. It can erode dental enamel. It can cause problems with sleep, although not everybody has that problem. And of course, for in our patients who are at high risk, for example, those with ADD or ADHD, anxiety or panic disorders, it can exacerbate some of the jitteriness or inability to concentrate. So we really are on the lookout for these. And as pediatricians, we're more sensitive now to patients presenting to our office with these symptoms. It may actually be in caffeine or caffeine withdrawal that they're suffering from.